fans of Mania. Wow! Welcome to the Wild Life Club Vintage Series for December 2016. Hey, you know, you remember Ed? Remember the day, Ed? Remember the day? Remember the day? Remember the day? Remember the day when we used to feature a sparkling wine and a dessert wine? No, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and it was, uh, all went with chicken. <laughs> chicken. Tastes like chicken. Uh, okay, so what happened was my dad started, you know this. Holidays, dessert wine, mm -hmm. which was very hard to find in our price range, and a sweet wine, I mean, a sparkling wine. Again, hard to find our price range worth a damn, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we stopped doing it about five or seven years ago because we were no longer shaking everybody's hand at the fairs <laughs> and saying, oh, by the way, yeah. in December you're going to get this kind of wine. So there are a lot of champagne, that people that don't drink champagne, a lot of people that don't drink sweet wine. So we were getting a lot of complaints or returns because we don't drink those styles of wine. Right. So now we just buy them, like we'll do the port series this year, and we make them available to you folks. Uh, we have three levels of Chardonnay, uh, Champagne, and three levels of uh, ports so that you can have a, you know, a nice holiday meal with them. But in the meantime, you get still wines, what we call still wines. Some of which are very still. Right. Yeah. Look at this nice movie. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so welcome to the Vintner Series for December of 2016. We've got another incredible wine from Magnolia Court. I mean, what are the nuts and bolts? Of? <laughs> what are the nuts and bolts about that wine? Mm. Look at this quarter inch, uh, six inch. The, I love these wines. The people who make this wine have, without question, wow. the most famous vineyard in the Santa Barbara County called Biendecito. And, you know, a lot of people make Biendecito wow. Pinot Noirs, and it's usually their top flight Pinot Noir. And they're going to be 50 bucks, okay, because the grapes are very, very expensive. Now, they will not tell you whether or not there are Biendecito grapes in this wine because they don't want the people they sell the grapes to to know that they're selling a wine at this price. This is so good. This is so good. Well, it's delicious. I mean, you know, but it's obviously Biendecito grapes. I mean, it's not probably not all Biendecito, but, you know, it's $24. And like I said, the closest competition is 45 to 50 The reorder price at twelve ninety nine is stupid. <laughs> Ridiculous. I think, I think uh, you're right. What did you say? Hmm. So, <laughs> I don't remember. So, it's fine. They probably. Know, I, I think either. you know. I I don't care for Sonoma. I don't care for them. They're good ones, but Sonoma Pinas don't throw me to death. I think Central Coast, Santa Barbara, San Inez is one of the great locations for Pinot. I in, think in there's the no world, question. No in question. The world. Yeah, it's great. And this is an extraordinary value mm -hmm. in that range. I mean, even at twenty four bucks, no one's going to argue. I mean, you no. can't even find good Pinot for twenty four dollars. No, this is you know, this is nice. Twelve ninety nine is is uh, insane. And a great lady to work with. You know, loves selling us wines that, that she can, you know, tout as being selections from the Wine of the Month Club. There you go. That's what I think, as far as you know. Ed. What do you think? As far as you know. Mm. Okay, this is a late, a late entry who I'd never tasted before, never seen their wines before, and that's the red glass. Are we going, we're going out of sequence? Oh, we're right. It's Sorry. Fine. You know, you got to retrain them. Every now and then. You got to start all over again. Okay, here we go. Santa Barbara Chardonnay. Oh, right. Stay in Santa Barbara with the Chardonnay, which I, again, okay, here we go. This is a great story. We go up to the Pinot Noir Festival in McMinnville, Oregon, in 1989, to taste the Pinot Noirs come out of Oregon. And they had, it's a great, great event if you get a chance to go because they bring the French in, everybody comes. But the wine I, I pull out of there as the big star of the weekend is, the Santa Bar is a Santa Barbara Chardonnay. And they had the salmon. It's, it's a Pinot Noir. Festival. <laughs> exactly, but they had the salmon thing where they dug a trench and put oak in it, and then they tilted these huge fillets that were w waffled between sticks and leaned them, and the fat dripped into the fire, and the salmon was incredible. And it, the the Santa Barbara Chardonnay that I tasted, so I'm a huge fan of Santa Barbara based Chardonnays. Well, yeah, because uh, most of them aren't over oaked, like too many of them. You know, I mean, and this is beautifully appointed. Um, made by the same people that do the Magnolia Court. Is and, it? Yeah, and they, wow. they they also they also grow Chardonnay in Biennecito, and I guarantee you there's Biennecito Chardonnay. This is so there. good. This is an eighteen dollars Chardonnay on the shelf, eleven ninety nine on a reorder price, and it's insane. I'm sorry. I mean, it's so beautifully done. I mean, it, you, you get yes, there's a little bit of vanilla in there, but it's got some great fruit flavors. Just beautiful trial. That's stuff. way way higher value than eighteen dollars. Mm -hmm. For this quality, mm. oh. so that's a joke. Yeah, eleven ninety nine. I'm doing a ninety five. I think it's terrific. Eleven ninety six. This is 
Terrific. Terrific. Ugh. And last but not you know, least, the, the, there's there's a little citrus. There's a little vanilla. You yeah. know, it's not oak. No, well, it's oak. But I don't know it's coming from. But it's, 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 there's it's a little bit of oak in there. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't remember offhand. I think it was barrel fermented, and I think that's the only oak it's soft. You know. Usually that's how the feminine character. So this is the this is a, a Paso Robles, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So late entry. I've never seen them before. Never tasted them before. A guy brings them by, actually pretty recently, and I'm like, where have these guys been all this time? And they make a lot of wines. Well, this is Sam Balakia. <coughs> oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. Don't you read the newsletter? No, I don't. It's Sam Balakia. And so, and and you know, we've done business with Sam. I've done business with Sam over. My God, it's been like 30 years or so. But I thought Sam was. Primarily ports and dessert wines. No, 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 no. He's he, got a, all, he makes so a lot of stuff. stuff. He makes a ton of stuff. And Terica is named after his two daughters, uh, Erica and and, and Tara or something like that. Is I, I forgot the story, but anyhow. But it's a you know mm. really classy Cabernet. Love it. You know what? Distinctly what the, Paso. Well, I don't know if I totally agree with that because it in the nose it is it's really ripe fruit but then in the mouth it's got some really it's, good acidity it's, it's got, got great, great acidity, tannin right. and that's where paso cabs can get a little dicey they get a little fat because there. it's a little too fat exactly so you get fat ed mm -hmm. how's that die going on obviously pretty well i lost 25 pounds there you have it that's what we're gonna... <laughs> did you look behind you <laughs> <laughs> 24 dollars on the shelf <clears throat> Twelve ninety nine reorder price. Stupid. I'm doing a ninety six. Mm -hmm. It's really a terrific wine. Wow. Fun. This is fun. I love doing this. Fun. It's so fun, Ed. And last but not least, I couldn't agree with you more. At least my batteries still work. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm behind it all the way. <laughs> really run out of batteries? I just said that. Oh, yeah, I'm behind you all the way. I practically know the order of these things, though. Isn't that a scary thought, boys and girls? <laughs> okay, caricature is uh, a brand of wine that was, it's Lodi, wow, Chardonnay from Lodi, uh, was to capture the millennial market. Did you know that? No, I, I, and I Which no one understands at all in this business, and uh, we're trying to understand, but so this was for that. I love this chartreuse character. I just noticed this green sort of. Oh, that's really. Well, this, oh, this is made is by this is made by the Lang twins in Lodi, who, whose wines we have featured under their label and other labels, and it's just wow. amazing. Everything I taste of these guys' wines are just fabulous. You know what's so fun is that there's two distinctively different chartreuse. Very, very different. Same grape, different parts of the country, uh, the state, and I think the same vintage. Even. But this has got a little more oak. It's got a little fatter, a little mm -hmm. more viscosity. It's really good, but though. It's got good acidity. It's got a good finish. You know, it doesn't finish kind of flabby. After all, it's, you know, wine's got to cleanse your palate to get you ready for the next taste. Mm. Love it. Layers. I'm trying yeah. to figure out. You know, wow, what am I tasting? I even get a little spice, like a little clove or something. Mm -hmm. Fun. This is a 97 for me. I'm okay, I'll do this. a 95. Just I'm loving this. You're loving it. Yeah. Hi. You need a credit card. She needs the credit card, folks. Otherwise, we don't eat. Is that the 840131? No. That's the Amex. Uh, that's the Vintner Series for December 2014. <laughs> you know, never a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs>